Let's go. FLX previews. Because this is for your own good. No shackles. Okay, you're right. You're right. You do what you want. <laughs> do it up. I'm so furious. <laughs> Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls, where we continue our lovely Saturday reviewing many beers. Shackle-free lifestyle. As Mike can attest to. Dan, what are we drinking? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so this beer is from the Little Willow Brewing Company. Oh! And they're out of Florence, Massachusetts. Okay. And uh, yeah, so this is their... Game Face, which is a double dry hopped Imperial New England IPA, and this is 7% ABV, and it is hopped with Citra and Galaxy. So yeah, uh, brewed and can by Little Willow Brewing Company, Florence, Massachusetts, under a special agreement. Your dad, I'm Mike Dan. What are we drinking? Uh. Been there, done that, Mike. You were too busy with the other beer. Oh, my bad. I won't be shackled. Uh, if anyone from the brewery happens to watch us. I'll tell you what. That is a gorgeous label. That green on there. The green, the white. Yeah. Beautiful looking can. I Mike, would... what, did, what have you had for Little Willow? Uh, can on 9 2024, by the way. So we're about probably two and a half weeks out. I am ashamed to say that I have had Little Willow, and I don't remember what I've had. Okay, really? But I know I've had them. All right. Man, what a gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, so it's what's kind of cool about it. Um, if you like, show the can, yeah. so Look at that. that is so fantastic. they always have like the tree is their logo, and then they always have uh, the girl on their willow. Um, okay. So from what I remember, because I reviewed with uh, over at uh, Josh over at Last Beer, mm -hmm. uh, we've done a beer review with him before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we've we're kind of like the little willow guys. And he's the mad Mardigan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've reviewed a ton of Little Willow, and uh, we'll show the beer when oh, we yeah. talk. Um, and Willow is actually like the the daughter or like granddaughter or something of the owner. So she's on every can. Is and that she, right? And she's doing something different on each can. That's fantastic. In collaboration. I love so that. game time is like she's doing like the soccer thing. I'll, I'd buy that just based on that. Yeah. So um, actually, there on the back, there's the original logo. Oh yeah. So yeah, where okay. she's just like oh she's sitting, she's there. sitting around okay. the tree. So. If you kind of look, she's just kind of chilling. And in this one, she's kind of like playing soccer. Okay, so. We haven't mentioned it enough. Great can label. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the color. Has good labels. Everything. Yeah. Um, so, this, yes. This is thick yeah. and hazy. Uh, and so, What's, I wasn't even paying attention. What's ABV on this? 7%. Seven, seven yeah. All right. So, I will tell you, I've had this. Okay. I bought two cans. I had one the other night, but totally compromised palette. Uh, okay. Uh, we're, right. we're watching um, football. We were watching Thursday Night Football. Oh, yeah. and Feeling we're, great. I'm just Loving like, the first half of the game. Feet a waggling. I, I'm drinking beers, eating hummus, eating just, you know, just sure. doing things. So uh, This looks fantastic. I, I, it looks thick, hazy, juicy. It looks, the thickness of the beer looks like it should be an 8.5%. ABV. It does. It's it's very opaque. Um, It swirls up great. Dude, in the head these, is just uh, unreal. I mean, yeah, real nice. It just thick. sticks around shaving cream. It looks great. Yeah. Oh. So I want to see if you say it because there is a. You know how we always say different breweries have their own distinct thing going on? Yeah, I probably won't say it because I'm going to say this is dirty oniony milk. There is. Well, there's that. Okay. But there is a distinct flavor I get or aroma okay. that I get from. Probably like 75% of the Little Will beers I, I've had. Oh, okay. Uh, and I, I'm going to say it, but I just want to see what your initial impressions are. My, it was... I, I'm still on that. It's that dirty, oniony, vegetable, like, um, it's cold milk. You ever smell like really cold milk? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that's what that kind of smells like. Um, there's a There's a, like... There's a, what is that, strawberry, like, tangerine back there? All right, can, can I say it? Yeah, go for it. And let's see if you get it. Okay. I, it'll probably indoctrinate in your mind. Sure, but sure. Peach. Yeah, okay, I can see that. I get an overwhelming peach on a majority of their beers. Oh, is and that I right? I don't know if it's the yeast well, strain they yeah, use yeast, or if the maybe. water profile, whatever. Okay, but. yeah, all right. Um. Anyways, yeah. It smells... Delicious. Like, oh, it's, it's a fantastic yeah. aroma on this. 
Cheers. Very soft on the palate, like right away. It's light and airy too. Like it's, th there's, man, there's, it's really weird. There's a slight, just for a passing moment, a heft to it. But then it's light, airy, and swirls away, and it's just gone. Wow. Hey, still get your onion? Because I do. I think a lot of what was on the aroma for me carries over to, uh, to the palate. Um, oh, wow. This is interesting. This, this is a little different. Yeah. And that's why I kind of like about the beers I've had from them so far. So I, I, I think I've reviewed th maybe three different beers with Josh. I okay. think, and I've had a few more off camera, but they are different enough to where I really appreciate their stuff. Um, yeah, I like I said, there, there's this, this overwhelming is... peach character for me. I definitely get um, the peach. But in this one particular, you know, you get that kind of citrus kind of, uh, <sighs> pineapple, the, 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 the prerequisite one would New England IPAs. Sure, okay. Right, pineapple, mango, blah, blah, blah. But there's this huge stone fruit presence, and there's this malt bill in there that just comes through, and it's kind of like the sweet hybrid of sweet and chalky, and then, like, the green character, the oniony, dank, kind of garlicky thing comes through mm -hmm. with a hint of just, like, uh, leafy green grass. Yep. Uh, with the the bittering effect on the back end, it's a it's a really solid beer. And for seven percent ABV, in my opinion, it drinks very full and it's, yes, yeah. I think it drinks well above its ABV. Um, I still get uh, that really nice, super fresh strawberry like green vinous nature to it. Uh, this it's weird in a world of like hazy. New England IPAs, mm -hmm. for something to do something to kind of set itself just slightly apart, I think that's what this beer is doing. This is fucking delicious. Does that, like, is there not like this, that yeast profile has like this fruit punch character kick to it? There is. There, there is like a, a berry kind of um, crisp, fruity aroma while it still remains soft, creamy, light, airy with a slight, maybe uh, sparkling water carbonation in the background. Yep. Not overly carbonated like that, but just a little bit back there to break it up, make it a little bit crisp. This is freaking, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. On the can, uh, on the back of every can that has this, and it says, Little Willow Brewing Company is a hope and a dream made into reality thanks to the unwavering support of my mom, dad, and my daughter, Willow. So, um, uh, this says game face, well double dry hop, New England IPA, hopped with galaxy and citra. Look for notes of citrus, peach, and passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit. Okay. So yeah. probably that fruit punch kind of thing. Going yeah. On. All right. I paid $5 and 70 cents for the can. I'm okay with that price point. This is a delicious beer. Like knowing how good it is, I would pay that. Yeah. It's weird. Like these guys just started showing up in our area one day. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. what is this? I remember seeing him at AJ. Like, they were like, hey, we got a little Will. I'm like, oh, all right. So I had bought, uh, what was it Hazy Days? I think Where'd it you get was. Uh, Quickly. Well, okay. Oh. Um, it's our new. Yeah. Here's um, But I bought Hazy Day, and it was like their anniversary IPA. Okay. And I remember this was my first little Willow. And it was like shortly after I had built, uh, we got done building like the swing set for my son. Oh, uh, okay, right? okay. And I'm sitting back there. I'm just like kind of taking it all in. I, I'm like, holy crap. And I bought a single. And I looked at my wife. I was like, we need to go back. <laughs> I need to buy <laughs> I need more. And I went back and it was gone. Really? Yeah. All right. So hopefully the hype train is and on. And then they had another one there that was gone. And that was the head Motoika in it. And Lord knows how I feel about Motoika. Oh, um, no. So yeah, Little Will. Uh, this was great. This what, was... what do you rate it? Uh, I'm going to give this... I feel okay giving this like a 475. This is an upper echelon beer. It's so well crafted. It's delicious. If you like this style of beer, this is going to yeah. blow you away. 
It's great. Yeah, uh, for me, I guess I think I'll give it like a four, three, five. Okay. Um, just because I've had some other little willow beers. There's this other beer, bro. I I literally, as I'm drinking, I picked up the can like five times, just looking. I was like, "There's got to be peach juice, like peach <laughs> additive in this." Right. And it was like like a puree or something. It's like on repeat in my mind. It's like uh, presidents of the United States of America, millions of peaches, peaches for me. Because I'm just like, "There's got to be peach in this, right?" Like peach puree. It was on fucking godly how much peach was in it. I, I like everything from the can, the beer, the story, everything. It's yeah. a great beer. So, uh, until next time, uh, yeah. Link down below for all our link trees and stuff. So, cheers. cheers.